Is that better? Yeah, that's probably better. Not the baying. The baying? Oh, 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 oh. If these bangs do not grow the freak out, this is the only... <laughs> We're just getting down with this clip the past few days. Okay, it, but pretend it's not happening. It's happening, but pretend it's not. Okay, so yesterday I started filming a Get Ready With Me. It kind of turned into a hot mess because I tried to use my Becca Zero under foundation. That is not a good idea. I'm going to put some footage in so you guys can kind of see what was happening. I got frustrated like halfway through because even after I took it off and did my concealer and everything, like my skin just looked so bad. So I stopped filming. So we're going to like finish today. You guys can go watch that footage um kind of a hot mess and then we'll come back and we'll we'll try to do this the right way so you guys know my love for becca zero but i've never worn it with foundation on top and i've heard people say that you cannot put foundation on top of this we're gonna find out so usually i just wear this with concealer and like my milk makeup blush stick i mean um bronzer stick so let's see if I can put makeup I mean foundation on top of it all right and we're gonna mix two shades of L'Oreal infallible 486 and uh -oh. um, and I don't know So far, so good. It looks super, super heavy, and it, like, when I touch my face, it's just, like, rubbing away. And, oh, man, it looks real bad. Oh no, I can't look. It's all like, ooh, oh no, we have to wipe this off. Okay, so Becca Zero, I can vouch this definitely does not work under foundation. Okay, so today we're gonna use Becca Zero, but we're not gonna put foundation on top. We're just gonna put concealer on top. Settle down. I don't even think I'm going anywhere today. I just have some new stuff like the, I probably didn't show you this footage, but I have these new Natasha Denona Chromium Liquid Eyeshadows. They are so freaking good. If you like shifty, these are the shiftiest eyeshadows in the history of the world. And they're so good. Like just tap it on with your finger, amazing. So I think I'm gonna use one of these today. I have two new palettes from Pixie. I have a face palette in Honey Nectar. We're definitely going to use this. And I have an eye one that I don't think I'm going to use. This one is Hazelnut Haze. It's really pretty. Um, we are going to swatch this though because I'm curious about it. Look at this packaging. The new Urban Decay Stone palette. I haven't even swatched it yet. Look how beautiful it looks though. So we will play with this. I may use this like in my crease and I don't know, we'll play. All right, so let's just start. Oh my God, how could I not tell you about these? The new Jouer Blush and Bloom Cheek and Lip Duos. I'm gonna swatch all of them for you. Why is mine so dirty? But this one, look at this. This one is Amuse Me and Uplift Me. So this is Amuse Me. Oh my god. And this is Uplift Me. I've already worn this. Ugh, so good. So freaking good. 
So I have been loving. And there's two other double-sided sticks that I'll show you when we get to blush. So I'm gonna speed through like my base because it's all the same. So I'm using, I'm using Becca Zero. Look how low mine is. I don't know what I'm gonna do in the winter though, like when I have no tan and I wanna wear foundation. I guess I can't use it. Oh, I'm looking kind of pale. We'll have to use extra bronzer. Oh. Mm -mm. Maybe you look cute today. That haircut's working for me. It's cute with the beard and the white t-shirt. All right, I'm gonna use my Smashbox corrector. You, you got it, you, you, you got it. Oh. My Botox lasted two months. So annoyed. Don't know why. Just decided I'm not sticking around this time. I gotta make an appointment. Cause that is unacceptable. Okay, and same concealer duo as always. Elf Flawless in Medium Sand and Tarte Hydro Sealer in Light Sand. Cause this one's a little dark. So I add the tart one. Look at that ass. Oh my god, I need to stop watching TikTok. I get these songs stuck in my head and they don't go away. I kind of want to go get more mums today. It's cold out. It's like 65 degrees, if that. It's like real chilly. It's too early. Although I'm not really upset about it. Like I was at first and now I'm like kind of okay with it. But I do wish it was summer. But if I can have it, give me fall. You feel me? Oh, wait till you guys see these Natasha liquid eyeshadows. Oh. like my $10 Marshall shirt. So cute. This barrette is tripping me out. <laughs> I could also go for a, a um, pumpkin cold brew. I love a good cold Pumpkin cream cold brew. Oh my god. So good. I don't understand why concealer works over the Becca Zero, but not foundation. Like my foundation looked so heavy and so terrible. But I always put concealer on it and it always works well. I'm using my favorite thing in the world, the Pat McGrath Under Eye Blurring Sublime Setting Powder in Medium. It's... <sighs> Look how low mine's getting. I used this on my entire face. It is the best powder ever created. Mm -mm -mm. So good. I didn't prime my lids. Nicole, what the heck are you doing? Oh my god. Okay, Nars Pro Prime. It's pretty much empty. Ugh. So how's everybody been? Did you guys watch my fall video? I know it was a little early, but 
I was in the mood, so I figured I should do it while I'm in the mood. My porch isn't done yet, though. Because, like, I do way more mums and pumpkins, but it was still too warm. So probably another, like, two weeks. All right, now, now we can powder. Good grief. I can't believe my Botox is gone. I'm so bitter about it. Like, why would that just happen? Usually I get six months out of it. What the heck? Two? Two? Unacceptable. And you can use powder under those Jouer cream blushes. I mean, I have and they haven't gotten weird. Okay. All right, I'm going to do my brows quick. While I do that, I'm going to watch a little YouTube video. I'm using my Precisely My Brow. I do, I have this new brow micro filling pen from Benefit. We'll try that maybe after, like for the front. Look at this. I tried it once. Wait, you gotta see the tip. It's like weird. Um, I tried it once and I wasn't, I don't know. I couldn't get like enough to show up. Like it's super light, but we'll try. Oh, it's a bad, bad brow day. We're gonna have to mess around with them. I forgot that I was using my old Precisely my brow and it's a lighter shade. I think it's number four instead of number five. So it's like too warm So I tried to fix them and things just went downhill So that's what oh god, they look terrible Okay, so oh I should have swatched these before I zoomed you guys in but let's swatch This what's it called stoned vibes. Oh, I thought it was just stoned stone vibes palette from urban decay do a couple little swatches. Ooh. Ooh. Let's do this blue one. Oh my gosh, these look pretty. They're little, um, like a little crumbly, but not much. What? Oh, that's that brow thing. I tried to use it. It doesn't even show up on me, so it's pointless for us to even try. Whenever I'm zoomed in, my lighting goes really weird. Wow, these look really pretty. Wait, one more. Oh, they look pretty. They're nice and like reflective. Oh, they actually look really pretty. They kind of look like wet. Ooh, I like. If you guys want a video on this palette, let me know. I'll do a video just on the palette. Now that my kids are back in school and things are calming down, I'm really gonna try to get more videos out. Summer was just a lot. Hunter's home right now. Um, he's visiting for a little while and then he's going to visit his girlfriend in Colorado. He's in a serious relationship. And then he's headed back to Cali. He's a traveling man. There's a few mats in this palette that I could use, but if you guys want a video on this, I will do it. So I think I'm gonna use something else in my crease. Well, since we're using Natasha liquid eyeshadows, I'm just gonna use the Biba palette in my crease. So I'm gonna take a mixture of this with a little bit of this guy in my crease. Yes, my black is gone. It broke. And I'm gonna use my favorite crease brush, which is a Smith 232. It's so soft, like it doesn't even make sense. All right, so I'm just through my crease. I hate my mirror being on this side, but we gotta make it work. And when I wear these eyeshadows, I really don't do much in my crease. Oh, it was a little fuzzy. I just kind of do a quick one of these and then put the shadow on because they're so shifty and beautiful. 
you don't even need to do anything in the crease. Like they stand out by themselves. You'll see. They're so easy to use. Like if you're in a hurry, just throw a little something in your crease. Tap that on real quick and you're done. Like it looks like you took so much time on your eyeshadow, but you actually did it in like a minute. And I know there's indie brands out there that have very shifty powder and liquid eyeshadows, but I've never really tried any of them. Maybe in the past I've tried like one or two, but I mean like mainstream brand. These are where it's at. They're beautiful. And you don't need a lot of product either. Like a little bit goes a long way. All right, I'm gonna take a different brush, a MAC 217. Or no, I'm gonna use my little Haku Hodo J5523. Same two eyeshadows, and I'm just gonna put that on my lower lash line. <laughs> this barrette is tripping me out. I really wanna get my tattoo done. I keep like putting it off. I just need to make an appointment and go and get it done. I'm getting something on my shoulder. I'm not sure if I told you guys. I have this crappy tattoo that I got on my arm. It's so tiny. It's like these little like Chinese letters. It's supposed to say Hunter. Lord only knows what it actually says. I've always hated it. I've always said I was going to cover it up. And I'm finally ready to do it. I'm going to get some flowers. But I want them done a certain way. Like I want them very thin. I don't know what that like technique is called. But like the outline of the flowers is super, super thin. It's so pretty. All right, so let me swatch these eyeshadows for you. Infra Nude is my favorite. I think that's what we might wear today. No, maybe I'll do the purple one. I love the purple one also. Okay, here's Infra Nude. I don't know if you're gonna be able to get the full effect of like the shiftiness. It shifts to like green and pink. They are stunning. Next one is Dragonfly. I have not worn Dragonfly yet. It's more pink. Ooh, look at that. They're so cool. You're not even getting the full effect. That's what it looks like. Next one is Dog Bane. I haven't worn this one either. This is probably my least favorite one. It's like coppery brown. Okay, next one is Scarab. This one's like blue and green. Ooh, oh my god. Look at that it's like gold blue green so cool oh my goodness and the last one is my other favorite one which is ultraviolet oh my god this one looks so good on i have worn this one it goes from like purple to like this taupey brownie color and a little bit of like a gold. They're so cool. This is not even giving you everything. It's really not. So I think I'm gonna do ultraviolet. Yeah. The one I usually wear is infra nude because it's just like a good everyday one. It's not too intense and crazy. But let's have a little fun today. And I haven't tried these with a brush because they work so well with my finger. I just put it on with the applicator and then tap it out. All right, here we go. And I usually start on the outer part and just tap, tap, tap. And I do take a little um, eyeshadow then, like whatever I used in my crease, 
just to kind of blend the lines, the edges. So I usually do one thin layer. You're not even getting the full effect right now. You will once I back up. So I do one layer, then I take a little bit more, like everywhere, and just tap it out. Make sure you get it the whole way up there. I kind of want to take a little bit of infra nude on the inner part. Let's do that. I haven't really mixed any of them yet, but why not? All right, just a little bit in here. Oh, do you hear my eyelid? It's like making that weird noise. <laughs> so cool. Oh my god, I love those two mixed together. Alright, let's do the other side and then if we need to do any little touch-ups, we will. Oh, I should use a different finger. These are so cool. You might be able to see better on this side because my ring light is a little bit closer to this eye. Look, oh, look how cool. And then a little bit of infra nude on the inner part. Different finger. So pretty, oh my god. And then I just take whatever eyeshadow, like I said, and just go along the edges. And you have some eyeshadow. Yes, ma'am, I'm here for this. Have you guys watched Love Island? I'm addicted. It's so like cheesy and trashy, but so addictive. Okay, eyes are done. I'm just gonna throw some mascara on. Do I even wanna do eyeliner? I don't think I do, I don't think I need it. All right, let's just curl my lashes and put some mascara on. I'm going to use my Colossal Waterproof from Maybelline. This is not my favorite, but I'm kind of almost out of waterproof mascara. I need to get a new Bambi Eyes. Mine is all dried up. And I don't know if I've used this one in a video yet. Did I already get mascara? Girl, me? what is that? So I put this on, then I take my Essence one on top. My What A Fake, I love that one. I wish there was a waterproof one. Maybe there is. I have to check Ulta next time I'm there. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of What A Fake just on the tips. <laughs> just the tip. Uh, oh, she's funny. I just like the way this makes the tips of my lashes look super like, I don't know, fluffy? 
and like dramatic. Is that the right word? I just like what it does for me. You guys open your mouth when you put mascara on. I usually don't for my top lashes, but for my lower ones I do. And it's like the ugliest face ever. I look like I'm like scared. Like, oh, it's not cute. Should we use Lucky from Urban Decay? I feel like I use this one all the time, but it's, it's one of my faves. I need to sharpen it, but I'm not going to. Do you hate watching people do this? Does it look painful? I really want a pumpkin cream cold brew. Man. Okay. Alrighty, we'll do the brow bone when we do highlighter. And um, I think we're good with the eyes. And we'll also do the inner corner when I do my brow bone. Well, maybe let's do it now. So I was planning on using this little Pixie Honey Nectar Palette. So let's try this shade on the brow bone and the inner Kona. And I'm using my favorite Jaclyn Hill Morphe JH42. Let's see how this little guy works. It feels a little dry. Wait, let me swatch it. Hmm. It's a little like. Oh, that's disappointing. What? Wow. Oh my god, that's terrible. What? Wait, we gotta swatch the rest of these. Okay, the blush looks decent. The bronzer looks beautiful. And this little highlighter number looks really good. It was just that gold one. Yeah, that's like a totally different formula. Ooh, that bronzer looks amaze. Now those three look beautiful. They feel totally different than that gold one. What the heck? Like even just looking at it, you know that, well that swatch looks better than the first one. But you know when you swatch something and you look at it and you're just like, yep, that's going to be crumbly and dusty. I'm not putting that on because it's going to fall out everywhere. But I will try the, the bronzer if we decide to wear bronzer today. Maybe we'll try this guy from the Urban Decay. This like little light blue, whitish. I think blended together it's going to look just like a super icy blue. That might be kind of fun. Let's try it out. Ooh. Ooh. That is intense. Got a little tiny bit of fallout. That's pretty. I never can seem to match up both inner corners. I feel like they always look different. Wow, that is blinding. I don't know if I wanna do that on my brow bone though. I think I'm just gonna use my highlighter on my brow bone, but that's fun. And it is like an icy blue. All right, let's zoom back and do the rest of my face. But this was like the star of the show, the eyeshadow, which I really like the way it turned out. Ooh, ooh, mascara. Don't look at that. Okay. Sorry that you can see like my desk, but. So I'm gonna use, as always, my Milk Baked Bronzer Stick. Oh, I thought my camera shut off with my Hourglass foundation brush. This is just so simple. I'm like so pale, like right here.
I only um, do one side of my forehead because my bangs cover the other side. Look at all these old baby hairs, girl. Cover up that five head. Jesus. So I am going to make a Sephora run. Let me know if there's any new products you guys want me to review. I want to start doing more like single product reviews. That way if people are looking for stuff like I have a video devoted to that product instead of like Get Ready With Me's where I try a bunch of new stuff, which I know you guys love, but just to throw them in. I think that would be fun. I used to do that. I need to do it again. See this bronzer in the Pixie palette is so cool. That's the only reason, like, I more would use that for contour. So I don't know that I want to use that. Let's move on to blush. So the Jouer Blush and Bloom Uplift Cheek and Lip Duos. I'm obsessed. Like I said, this is my favorite. Amuse me and uplift me. Uplift Me is just gorgeous with like a little of this mixed in. Oh, so pretty. So that's what we're going to use, but let me show you the other two. So this one is Promise Me and Celebrate Me. So that's Celebrate Me. That's Promise Me. Let me swatch them. One of these I'm giving away because it's just way too dark for me. So I'm not going to swatch that one, but let me figure out which one it is. It was this one. Empower me and inspire me. So inspire me and empower me. This one I may give to one of my friends, may do a giveaway, not quite sure. But we're going to set her aside. Okay, so here's celebrate me and promise me Ooh, promise me is so beautiful i kind of want to put that on my lips <gasps> so pretty oh my god these are Ooh, i love oh wait i might be wearing um promise me today on my cheeks because that is freaking beautiful I'm going to keep that out. Okay, uplift me. So good. And amuse me. Oh, what was it? Amuse me and uplift me. But that's what I'm wearing today. That's the one. I didn't realize how gorgeous that was. But I do love these two mixed together. They're so pretty. They're so easy to blend. They just like blend themselves out. I just take this. You'll see. You'll see. Okay. Promise me. Promise me you won't jack my face up. So beautiful. I just really love the formula of these and I'm very picky with cream blush. My favorite is the Honest Cream Blush. They're incredible. But this one, it's not greasy. It's not too like of a wet feel. Do you know what I mean? You guys know what I mean. It almost has like a velvetiness to it, but not too much. This is like the perfect mix of like a cream, but a little bit of that like velvetiness to it. Amazing. Like you just saw how good that blended. Oh, you guys, let me show you this also. I got the pumpkin spice palette from Too Faced. You guys, I'm so like underwhelmed by this. Now, I've been using this. Like I think it's great. The quality is beautiful. Love the shades. But... But I just feel like it's extra spicy 2.0. Extra spicy pumpkin spice. Like, come on, Too Faced. You could have gave us more. They're just 
so similar to me. I just feel like it's kind of like a repeat of last year's palettes. Now, like I said, I love it. What's on mine? I think it's great. Like the quality, if you don't have anything like this, you will love it. But if you have either of the two from last year, you don't really need this one. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. I just wanted more. I wanted something more. I just wanted more. I can't remember if I showed this to you guys in a video or not. The new Laura Geller Baked Dulce Highlighter in Prosecco. It's so beautiful. So gorgeous. Like that wet. Oh my god. We're wearing this. It's beautiful. Love it. I'm going to use my Wayne Goss um, Zero Two brush, one of the softest. Oh my God. Do I want to do a cream? Ooh. No, I'm going to do this. I usually do a cream highlighter, believe it or not. It's so like natural but still bling. Oh. Dang girl, I just went hard on the Cupid's bow. Cool. Let me use my little brush for the brow bone. Ooh, so pretty. Girl, I'm going to put a little of this on top just to make it less like icy and more like gold. I don't know, I'm just playing. I'm gonna put a little bit right here. Why not? Ooh, kinda like that. Ooh, okay. So I don't really have new lip products, but I do wanna try was it promised me? I wanna try that on my lips. I'm gonna use my Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil in Done Undone from Pat McGrath. Ugh, my fave. I can't tell you the last time I wore like a serious lip product. It's always like a tinted balm, especially with wearing a mask everywhere. Like nobody sees your lips. I feel like I should use like a lip brush, but I don't, ooh. I don't really have one. I'm going to use this little Morphe E39 brush. We're going to make it work as a lip brush. Okay. It's not really working. Oh yeah, it does. Oh, this is so pretty. Ooh, I love this color. I love this color. And it feels nice. It's nice and matte without feeling dry. What the heck? These are so nice. Oh, bitch. Sign me up. Sign me the freak up. Promise me? That's my favorite color. I wasn't even looking at this one. Like, she wasn't even in my radar. I was all about amuse me. Favorite. This is such a pretty look. Okay, let me go like do something with my hair. 
even though all I'm gonna do is that. Oh. Yeah, let me go do something with my hair because now I have a big crimp. These bangs just will not. That's a look. Okay, so I just tore up some Takis. So if my lips look a little weird, eh, still looks good. It actually held up really well. Okay, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. I really need to get a new concealer for our next Get Ready With Me. And a new highlighter. Oh, I'm going to get that melt one. Yeah. So, um, yeah, if you guys want a video on the stone palette, look, my drink, like, could you get your life together? Um, I love you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think of this look. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh my God, Tara just texted me and told me I stepped on a baby frog when I left her house last night. I actually want to die right now. Oh my God, I want to cry. Oh my God, that makes my heart break. Oh my God. It killed a baby frog. Oh my God, ew. Oh wait, oh no. Oh, my forehead looks really weird. It looks like I'm 100 and I'm not there yet. I still have like five years. You know what? I'm going to put a little Jouer lip oil over this just because I like a glossy lip. Oh, girl. Jouer, you amaze me every time. Is that the word? I've succumbed to the temptation. I'm going to eat a piece of apple pie. And I'm not apologizing. These thighs, I need it. Because I'm going to be too All I need is a big little bump in it for you. You, you, the bag. It's a good day. It's a good day. It's not a good day for these things. Man, I'm choking. Ooh.